Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Tina. So now we are gonna start talking about JSTL. Uh, JSTL stands for Jakarta Standard Tag Library. Uh, I'm talking about the newest version. Okay, the old one is called the JSP Standard Tag Library. Okay. Mm, but the API actually is the same. Okay, not a lot of not a lot of changes. JSTL uh, uh, represents a set of uh, tags to simplify the JSP development. Like last video, I show you a demo which we use Scriptlet to do a loop and using. Uh, loop a person and also inside we have to do if else condition and uh, when use the uh, JSTL okay we can using uh, the call tags to do the exactly same thing and uh, JSTL you can think as a predefined HTML like tags okay and uh, JSTL tags can be categorized according their functionalities so here JSTL have uh, five tags according to their functionality like a call tag you definitely will use a lot like uh, if we want to do a loop if we want to do a condition check they are all inside the call tags okay and uh, uh, function Function is uh, uh, for uh, support the string manipulation and the string length, which is uh, very similar in Java. In Java, we have a string class, right? String has uh, some method like uh, index dot, index of, uh, index, uh, uh, what others, substring, uh, split, uh, uh, the, those functions, right? Those methods. And uh, if you want to use inside the GSP, you can use the function tags, okay? You can have a formatting tags, like if you want to format a number, a date, or currency, you can use in format. And for XML and SQL tags, uh, XML, basic, you, you, from the name, probably you can tell, okay? Provide the flow control, transform, uh, transformation, and the grab information from XML. Those, uh, honestly speaking, I never use XML. And the SQL, SQL, it means in your GSP, you can actually make a connection to database to make a SQL uh, queries. And uh, that uh, the reason why this one was used is because uh, uh, do you remember we have a model one and a model two the design pattern web design pattern model one inside model one GSP can act like a, as a controller and a view together that's why SQL can be will be used okay but uh, for entire uh, GSTL the videos I will only talk about the three call function formatting for these two I don't uh, I'm not interested to talk them and uh, I don't want to talk them because uh, I will probably you know we are never use them okay so that's why I don't want to introduce okay and we already covers uh, three tags and if you can uh, understand all other three tags you can learn XML and SQL by yourself very easily okay so second one uh, if we, we want to use the GSTL uh, it's different from uh, GSP okay or oh, servlets okay servlets when we add a dependency we use uh, scope is provided this is because uh, uh, servlet that API Java is already existing in Tomcat but JSTL it's uh, kind of like an external library you have to add inside your project and also when we wrap our project and deploy um, into Tomcat the, we have to make sure the Java is also inside the WAR file uh, because uh, Tomcat doesn't have JSTL, this uh, uh, dependency, okay? That's why we have to include in the WAR file. And uh, for the JSTL library, uh, I found the two implementations 
uh, both of them uh, works but it also might have others available I didn't uh, test all of them so let me show you the two works uh, one is uh, implemented by glass fish okay one is implemented by, by eclipse okay both of them I tested works and to be careful there's a one let me oh sorry there's the one uh, discard. Suppose now you want to search for Jakarta server, uh, Jakarta standard tag library, the Maven dependency, right? We may go and uh, go to the browser. Let me open a new tag here, okay? And uh, then we here we're using Maven dependency, okay? And we go here. And we go here. And we find this one. Okay, this one, uh, take a look at the group. Group is Jakarta Servlet, GSP, GSTL, and uh, the artifact is GSTL API. This is only the API. It's, it doesn't have implementation. So if you add this dependency into your project, it doesn't work because it only has an API, like kind of like interface defined. It doesn't have implementation, okay? So the implementation you have to search is, uh, let me find it here, GSTL, okay. I'm not sure if this way has, okay, this one has one, okay. Here we can uh, see one. Uh, you, actually, you can, you can tell by the date, okay. Because the Jakarta changes, uh, I think in 2018, so all of them, after two before 2018 it's not the newest version so this one is the one i tested it works 2020 and there's another one uh the glass fish that one okay you can find out by yourself okay uh, so i tested both of them you can uh, you choose one of them this one is fine and this one is also fine okay so what i'm gonna do is uh, okay you copy and then paste into your project okay paste into this one and oh, it has this thing so i cannot paste so what i'm gonna do is go 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 to browser and search for search for which one search for glass fish Glassfish web. Uh, let's go here. Uh, JSTL. Let's see if we here have other implementation. Okay, this one is not. Uh, the other way uh, is like this one. Jakarta servlet. Let's try this one. Sorry, okay. Sorry for the tedious job. Okay. Ah, this one. Uh, 2020. Okay, we can go. And the uh, latest version 2.0. And we can copy. Now we can copy and just paste it here. Okay. So uh, make sure uh here that scope doesn't use provided okay just uh, because uh, this is inside the tomcat already but this one doesn't okay so make sure you add this dependency and then inside the maven you actually can see uh, we have to refresh make sure we can download that one okay now it's downloaded successfully i've downloaded successfully this is the first step second step okay let's uh, continue we talk about the uh, JSTL can be categorized in five uh, categories, right? And depends on the functionality you want to use. Then you add those tags inside uh, your GSP, okay? Suppose you want to use a uh, uh, call, which is a call tag library. Then you add this piece of information into your GSP. And if you want to use a function, you add this one. If you want to use a format, you add this one. And the same thing for XML and the SQL. Okay. And do you remember when we explain 
what kind of uh, the, uh, elements we can put in GSP. We talked about uh, declaration, uh, scriptlet, GSP expression, directive, and others, right? And when we talk about uh, GSP directive, we already talk about uh, what? We talked about, <coughs> excuse me, we, uh, excuse me. We talked about page directive, and we already talked about include directive, right? And this is the last one, which is called the tag lib directive. Okay, and here is called the tag lib. Okay, the URL, the URL must to be exactly the same one. Okay, because this is inside the TLD, the URL must be using the one match the TLD. And for the prefix, all the prefix value like fn format x sql prefix can be any name you give any valid identifier but by convention for the call we're using c we use c and for the function we use fn and for the format we're using uh, fmt and the uh, same for uh, xml and the sql so in our next demo we will do yes we're gonna use in call so here to using call tag library we just uh, copy Okay, and then we go to our GSP. Suppose here is uh, I will using I will create another one called J, uh, GSP uh, JSTL call tag library. Okay, and here if you want to use, we put at the beginning. Then inside here you can use all the call library. See here, call, and you can use in for each. You can use if. Okay, and you can use a uh, uh, set, all of them. Okay, so uh, this video we only talk about uh, setup, and to setup you have to add the dependency for GSTL, and uh, based on which of the uh, tag library you want, you just add the tag lib directive. Okay. Uh, that's all for this video. Uh, we introduce about JSTL, and uh, next video we will start uh, talking about each of the tag in uh, like uh, those tag libraries. Okay, thank you for watching this video, and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.